seawall and our waterfront are some of the most iconic parts about downtown Corpus Christi. And I know they're really important to you and part of your vision for our downtown revitalization. So our seawall is extremely important, and which is why we've invested and allocated uh, a lot of money to make sure that we maintain it. Painting this first step oh, of lovely. the, the seawall itself, um, but it's so important because it's never been done. And Alyssa, we have so many tourists that come, not only from out of town, but we also have our own residents who use this seawall every day, especially the weekends. You know, the running club uses it. And so we need to make sure we take pride and what we have here, our, our, our beautiful infrastructure here along the bay. Absolutely. You know, I think over a quarter of all our hotel occupancy tax for the whole city is produced here downtown, less than one square mile. Yeah. And people want to get here. They want to come see the seawall, but sometimes that can be kind of difficult. Right. So one of the focuses I have in the big plan for um, downtown is connectivity. We have to be so able to important. connect where we're standing to downtown. And so it, that could be a public safety issue, and right. I think it is. I think we need more crosswalks, and I think that um, people, our tourists, and our residents need to be able to cross, a, you know, a long shoreline here um, without an issue. Safely. So we're gonna safely, and we're gonna continue to focus on that. And I think you and I together are gonna make that happen. Let's do it. All right. Our marina is a really important part of our downtown economy. We have a lot of local businesses like Harrison's Landing, um, we have the Japonica boat tours, yeah. but there's a lot more coming to the marina, right? Yes, Can you yes. share a little bit about well, yes. that? So the focus on the marina is extremely important for reasons of, you know, tourism, our own residents being able to use it. We are having six different piers behind me that are all wooden the docks oh. wooden, and we're replacing them they're going to be concrete floating concrete it's just going to be amazing that's going to be a great a upgrade huge upgrade for everybody who uses them you know the, to keep their boats there and it's just going to be an improvement altogether you know uh, overall now the other thing that's happening is that um we found that 30 percent of our boat slips are not even usable oh my gosh because they haven't been dredged in forever so we're going to be dredging that that's another huge investment so overall the whole marina and tea head is being focused on at just the, at, at, a, at a heightened level that's never been one of the things I've also initiated is a master plan for our tea heads to be able to set that vision set the vision for a world-class marina completely reimagine what this could and should be that's amazing so it is a huge part of my focus and I'm so excited I just can't wait because there's so much potential here and I think we'll probably walk over and, and see what that looks like yeah yeah did you know mayor that we actually have the deepest bay on the Gulf and so that's something that really sets no, us apart. I didn't know that. And, and to add to that, we are the largest marina on the Texas Gulf. Really? Yeah. Well, that's something to be proud of. So we've got to really own that and really improve it so that we can show it off and let everyone know. When well, it sounds like things are moving. They're moving. It's a good time. Yes, it is. I'm just having a good day, having a good day. Mayor, what are some of the things that the master plan that you're initiating, what is it going to envision? It's going to give us a map to what this could be. Because remember, one of my focuses is what it used to be. This was an amazing area that we used to come and rollerblade. Yeah, skate. Roll, I remember skating out here. We roller skate and that little platform up there, there was, uh, you know, uh, music or so just some kind of entertainment. My brother won Battle of the Bands in the 90s out there. There's a historic place. Yes, we've got to bring things back like that. But the master plan is, is it's going to give us a roadmap to what this could be. And we are going to reimagine all of it. Oh my gosh, Mayor, look, a sailboat right on cue. Oh, that is perfect. I was just going to talk to you about the regatta races that take place on Wednesday. An iconic activity down here. So that master plan too might include some places for people to come and watch the sailboat races Absolutely. and make that accessible. Absolutely. These are things that are taking place right now and we can actually make this area, the Tea Heads, a place to really be able to watch. The regatta races are just a beautiful sunset. So activation, beautification. Revitalization. There we go. Yes. All of it, all of it. So the focus is there and we're gonna do it.